color here and today we are going to do something a bit different we are going to go over uh, five of my personal favorite libraries that I've used throughout the years of uh, developing apps and hopefully some of these uh, some of them will be useful to you uh, if not now then in the future and the first one that we are going to talk about is Glide and we've used Glide uh, in our series both Tinder, Snapchat and uh, the Uber series so it is uh, um, a library that I use a lot it is great for loading images into an image view uh, either through an URL or straight from the drawable folder or wherever you can uh, just load them up into an image view or some other uh, object that displays images with no problem. Another thing that it does great is cache. Uh, it, uh, you are able to cache images in your phone so that uh, you don't have to be always loading them in the future, which is a great uh, thing to have. They have an extremely smooth uh, animations uh, and in my opinion, it is better than Picasso. Uh, because I've had some problems with Picasso, which is another library that's uh, really, um, really famous out there. And it does basically the same thing as Clyde, but to me, it didn't work uh, the way that I think it should. And for that reason, I'm excluding Picasso. The next one is Circular Image View. And this library will allow you to make image views that are, uh, as the name says, circular. And this is extremely uh, not useful but good to have because re rectangular image views are quite boring and make your app seem monotonous and not fun at all and uh, with circular views uh, image views it looks a lot more like other apps like Instagram, Facebook, if you notice, all of them use circular image views. And so this uh, library allows you to have that without having any uh, work and without having to, work, uh, to write any code almost at all. You only have to import the library and apply it as you will. Up next, we have swipe cards. And swipe cards, those of you that follow the Tinder series know because it is a library that allows you to swipe just like Tinder. So you have you can have a list with as many cards as you want and then you can simply swipe uh, on your phone and the card will go either right or left and it even de uh, detects touches. So if you click on the image, for example, it will detect it and you will be able to uh, do whatever you want with it. It is extremely an extremely easy uh, library to use and the animations are on point it is really smooth and for that reason it is the best uh, library to do exactly this and up next we have app intro and this is one of those libraries that i always use uh, it is extremely good because it allows you to make a tutorial uh, for your app so for example if the user is using the, uh, your app for the first time then you can make uh, a layout with app intro that will take the user through uh, what the app does, uh, what it, is it meant for, and even a short tutorial would be great for this. It is good because you can give a quite nice first impression to the users and that's one of the reasons why I always use this app. It, it looks a lot like most of the Google apps do because they all follow the same parameters when it comes to the intro of the app and uh, so the guidelines are basically the same and it is perfect you have buttons you have the ability to swipe and to show whatever you want in the layouts this is most useful for uh, just showing the user uh, the most um, essential information of the app don't go overboard with it but to show what is essential to for the user to start using your app then go ahead it is extremely good for that and uh, finally we have mp android charts and as the name says this library will allow you to have charts within your app so they have the the best uh, documentation that i i've ever seen truly and 
they basically go over everything that you need you'll be able to choose between a lot of charts so you don't only have to choose the line one for example you can have bar you can have a pie chart and uh, a lot more that i can even remember right now because i've i never used the the other ones i've used the line and the pie charts and it is amazing you are able to customize your charts as you want it is extremely easy to implement the data and you can change the colors you can change everything and it even has animations that are quite nice and quite easy on the eye which is great for any application that you might uh, want to implement them in so that's all for for today uh, all of these uh, libraries i have linked in my description and if you want to check them out then please do and always remember to give the the creators a shout out in your app it is always the best thing to do so yeah if you like this uh, type of videos then please let me know in the comment section oh i believe they are interesting because they maybe uh, tell you something that you didn't know previously and that in the future this might be uh, quite useful to you so yeah if you have any other suggestions then please do leave uh, them in the comment section as well and yeah i hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao